Hello party people and welcome back. This is new cop cam video of the shooter on the roof. So this is the first cop car to pull up to the building after Crooks is spotted on the roof. The video jumps ahead, and the second cop car has now arrived. It's the cop from the second cop car, who is the cop that gets boosted up on the roof. The cop drops down to the ground at 6.08 and 57 seconds p.m. The shots began being fired at 6.11 and 31 seconds p.m., 34 seconds after the cop drops down. And this lines up with Dave's video. Make yourself small, bro. I don't know what's going on. Again, Shots are fired 34 seconds after the cop drops down. This means the shooter had 34 seconds to go from the edge of the building to the peak of the roof, aim, and fire. The cop that was boosted up told the other cop that the shooter was beside the book bag. The book bag is on the edge of the roof. So the shooter had to be on the edge of the roof at 6.08 and 57 seconds p.m. when the cop dropped down from the roof. Yo, Blasco! Yo, you were about to hop up. He's laying down. He's going over. Next, next, next building over. Right after the gap. He's got glasses, long hair. I need a ladder. She's gonna Yo, Mike. I climbed the wall and I popped my head right in front of him, bro. He's got a book bag. He's got mad. Hey, or laying down. Yeah, he's got. He's laying down, prone out, book bag next to him. But the following makes no sense. There is no embedded timestamp shown on the video, but there is a timestamp being shown. Therefore, the author of the video must have seen the timestamp on the person's camera before they made their video. At 6:09 and 38 seconds p.m., the shooter is still on the edge of the roof. A uniformed officer can be seen walking toward the building. Yeah, someone's on top of the roof. Look. There he is right there. Right there. See him? At 6.10 and 19 seconds p.m., he's still seen on the edge of the roof, and people are calling for the cop. People alert law enforcement. Officer. People in our country that shouldn't be here. Dangerous people. Criminals. We have criminals. We have so why isn't he on the roof at 6.10 and 29 seconds p.m. when the cop looks on the roof? Are we to believe the cop saw him on the roof and ignored it? Seconds later, another video shows an officer walking backwards, apparently looking up. A man approaches and points to the shooter's location. The officer turns and walks out of frame. At so the shooter is seen on the edge of the roof from 6.09 and 38 seconds p.m. to 6.10, and 19 seconds p.m. The shooter is then no longer on the roof when the cop looks up at the exact same spot between 6.10, and 28 seconds p.m., and 6.10, and 43 seconds p.m. Then the shooter is back on the edge of the roof beside the book bag when the cop gets boosted up at 6.10, and 57 seconds p.m. So where did the shooter go between 6.10, and 19 seconds p.m., and 6.10, and 28 seconds p.m. A viewer on the channel asked about the guy in the gray shirt that is seen with the cop. So let's follow him. Is he undercover? Here he is sitting by the retaining wall at 6.09 and 38 seconds p.m. This is the same retaining wall Crooks was allegedly sitting on. Now here he is talking to the cop at 6.08, and 38 seconds p.m. Now here he is at 6.10 and 50 seconds p.m., just 41 seconds before the shots are fired at 6.11 and 31 seconds p.m.
Now here he is after the shots are fired at 6.11 and 31 seconds p.m. Here he is looking around the corner of the building after the shots are fired. So there you have it. Was he an undercover cop? You decide, party people. Who is this cop hand signaling to, and what does the signal mean? Now look at this undercover filming the cops on the roof. As I showed you previously, undercovers are filming all over the rally grounds, so they have actual footage to know what was happening, in case they decide to stage other footage. Thanks for watching party people. Now leave me some comment to explain where the shooter went to between 6.10 and 19 seconds p.m. and 6.10 and 28 seconds p.m.